Right, so. Here we go, down the well. You might hear as well during this episode, I'll say, uh, sorry in advance, but. Though it seems to be calming down since the last episode and this one, while well, it's just been copying the video over onto the, uh, onto the hard drive I've got plugged in the back. Oh, this does not look. <laughs> Mind his step here then. But yeah, uh, in that time, a storm started outside and. Oh. Yeah, so. <clears throat> um, I've been looking at the windows, it's pouring it down but bits of ice on the windows as well so there's like hail storm uh, there's like hail storms as well mixed in with the rain it's like sleet so but the real worry is the fact that uh, every so often there's just a flash from the windows uh, so I'm playing it in the dark at night and there's just occasional massive lightning coming from the windows so that's a tad worrying <laughs> So I might not be jumping just because of the game at this point. Um, but it seems to be calming down now. Seems to be. What's the puzzle here then? That's locked from the other side. Oh. No puzzle. Just walk around. Oh. Okay, there is a puzzle. Um, oh. So I want to get to there and to there, I assume. I need keys. Okay. So we need the middle one up. Now push further, Ethan. There. Okay, really? Oh. And here's me thinking that we'd need a bunch of keys and various other things to solve the puzzle. Guess not. Some magnum ammo and large pigeon blood ruby. A pigeon ruby. What? That can't be what the real call was, right? says that there's something left in here. Hmm. Where exactly? Did I miss something up there? I mean I can't imagine it's that important. We've got the important bit. Hmm. 
Unless it's another, uh... Ah. Wait. Go here. Nope, a bit further so it brings it up on the map. No, that's still... Not it. Is there a gem on the ceiling or something? Uh, whatever. Until we can get into the castle, I don't think we can get 100% completion anyway now. Hmm. Kind of demotivates you to go for it, I guess. Right. And that's the cave that brings you around to... Oh, we can't even go in there again. Is this still? Oh, that's completely locked now, eh? All just painted on doors at this point. Hmm. I'd, I'd, I think I would have preferred it to have been like almost a uh, free roam, open world type thing where once you'd beaten areas you could go uh, back. And grab things you'd missed. My, but, I mean, it would have been nice to be able to do that because I'm a bit annoyed now that there's things that I've missed that I can't get. But I think the more the more annoying thing would have been, hmm, because I'm I'm actually not really one for backtracking. I don't really like it. I think it's just artificially padding out the game, really. But uh, a few interesting puzzles. Managed to get a couple of upgrades. So that's where we originally were docked. So maybe the phantom fish is down this way. Hmm. This looks promising. It is, there we go. Oh, come on. Where did they go? Aha. Yes. Now we have all the fish. <laughs> Now, where's this? <clears throat> oh, this is creepy as hell. Oh. Something's moving in there. Some weird rot on the tree. And a lot of firepower. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, bottom. Increases the firing rate. <laughs> Very nice. So we've got both attachments for that gun now. DNA sequencing is complete. 99.95 match to Dolve Mutamacetti. Mutamacetti? Mutamacet. 
The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections manage to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the baker incident into account, the hosts of the uh, mutami set are part of a network of consciousnesses. Shouldn't that be conscious ease? If the network is linked to here, uh, then we could assume the organism here is data storage. If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? So this is the source. Kill it! It's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> it's not even flinching to it. I'm gonna say we just need to. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh dear. There's three in them. I'm willing to do it when there's three. They'll be weak now. Oh. Really? Really? Four bullets and a grenade and you're not dead. Oh, and then you wipe your mouth. Cheeky sod. Cheeky little sod, you. Oh yeah, it's arriving. Oh, we've got everything, yep. I'm not sticking around. Yeah, that, that place needs some napalm. <laughs> Just get some of them explosive barrel, uh, barrels, lob them down. A couple of pipe bombs and all. Send the thing to hell. <laughs> so after our river boating adventure, I think it's finally time to put the rest of those flasks in the uh, middle bit. Oh, and I nearly forgot as well, by the way, there is one other thing that I quickly did while I was waiting for the copy to complete, because I was actually curious um, as to where we, uh, to how we get that treasure in the grave. Apparently, that's it there. Um, which is the way to, right, so it's the, yep, yeah, yeah, it's the top one, okay. Before we do that though, let's see what we can That's sell and buy. So we've got large pigeon, antique coin, golden lady statue. I hope we've not sold off the things that are meant to go on here. <laughs> anyway, wouldn't surprise me if I accidentally had. <laughs> 
He's not wrong. I could do that. I could. <laughs> Maybe some of the upgrades aren't available until like New Game Plus or something. Oh! There must be more areas with fish. A good Let's... deal, if I say so myself. Does it even mark fish on the map? It does not. Hmm. Nowhere to get fish from. No, well, that's probably going to be another thing I'll have to look up. See where to get more fresh fish. So I can go and make some fish and chips. And then realise my true power and... Was that just there? This whole time? There's just a gem on that grave? See, the problem there... That's the uh, lighting for you. It's that dark. I know it tries to make them glint. But in all honesty, because of the ray tracing and the more realistic reflections and things, a lot of metallic surfaces and just areas where there's like sun shining on things glint. So you become a bit numb to it. It's a lot harder to make out things in this uh, game than in a lot of others. Looks like we're going around a bit here. <laughs> Ow! These goats are mean. Seven bullets in a flaming goat. A lot of goats in this, isn't there? There's goat statues, goat heads off of everything, goats on there. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, and he's... Isn't that thing worth like 30 grand, though? Oh, dear. Missed. Oh, he hit though. <laughs> uh, we've got plenty of handgun ammo. Plenty of shotgun ammo, apparently. Uh, what could I use as well? Explosives wise. I could equip some mines, put them down, I guess. Run! Ow, you sod! This thing needs a power upgrade more than out. All these big guys showing up now. And they're just refusing to die.
barely even hit me. I've got any... I've got no health items. Mech 2 in case. Um, Oh, you sod. It's better, I think, to try and just block than it is to actually turn and run. I think. Oh. You know what we can do as well? Load a flash round. Staggered is not going down. Just more and more of these things. Uh, let's try a pipe bomb. They're definitely their health's increasing, isn't it? going to be an issue. Um, what have I got left? <laughs> oh yeah, the game is definitely increasing the health. Same enemies, higher health pool. Really? You're in the middle of a you're in the middle of another swing. Like you'd swung and missed. Okay, sod that. Thing is, if you if you screw up the melee, they literally like rip half your damn health off. Let's see what we can make. <sighs> um. Oh wow, that was it. Well, let's hope it goes down. Ninety-nine, six, ninety-nine, seven, ninety-nine, six. Okay. Hmm. It's again. I've got to say, um, I'm I'm glad I didn't put this on the higher difficulties. It's not what you'd call a difficult game. But because of because of the way that the gameplay kind of flows, they just kind of to make the end game more difficult. They just make it so there's more enemies with higher HP pools. That's all they do. Um, 
and that's kind of how difficult is handled in this. So it's not really. Mm. I don't have any. What's uh eh? That'll work. Ooh, three grand. So yeah, they they just increase the numbers, and that's kind of it. So you, they give you a bit more ammo, but probably not enough, and you end up just you, wish to make a purchase? you just end up running really low on all your supplies and and ammo and items and things. <laughs> Really? Only 18 for that? <laughs> the enemy I killed via were worth more. Now, this is something to splurge on. Food is life. We can probably afford that Do now. Eh, uh, the upgrades are cheap. One moment. So why not? Mm. Heh, we've only just gone under three uh, under three hundred foul. <laughs> Delighted to Got way more money than it expects us to have, I I think, yeah. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. So do why why not just get everything? Aha. I don't think we'll even go much below um Yeah, we'll not even be much Aha. below the two hundred foul mark. There we go. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, did we have a meal to cook as well? No, we need that one extra fish. Hmm. Take care. Right. In fact, before I cut it, we might see what. Well, yeah, we'll put a few in. No flashback this time. Right. But I will stop it there, because I reckon if I do anything now, it's probably going to drag us into a cut scene, and it'll be a whole 30-minute thing. So I'm going to put a cut there. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.